Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we are doing exercise 7.4, all the questions. In the previous video, I have done this how we can use the formula of the straight line in add mass. You can see the this here and I will try my best to do all the questions like question 1 till 10 and explain you in detail. But for that purpose, just to understand this video, you should watch my previous video that is 7.4, only the formula and the explanation. Exercise 7.4, question number 1, find the equation of the line passing through minus 3, 2 with gradient 2. Uh, what's the equation uh, of a line y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1? It means what we need, like we need a gradient and one coordinate. One coordinate is given here and the gradient is also given here. Just substitute the value. This is what? x1 and y1. So y minus y1 is 2 is equals to gradient is also 2 and x is x and 3 is minus 3 x is minus 3 so i would write this is minus minus plus 3. now just what you need just what you have to do just assemble the equation like y minus 2 is equals to 2x plus 6 this 2 shifted in right hand side y is equals to 2x plus 8 and that's the equation of a straight line normally when we write the equation of a straight line we always make y as a subject Otherwise, sometimes I have also seen this 2x plus 3y is equals to 5 is up to you. But normally, I advise to you write as y the subject. This line, this question 2, the line L has the gradient 3 and curves the x-axis. Remember, like uh, the coordinates on x-axis are always like y is always 0. On x-axis, the y is always equals to 0. So, it means the coordinates will be 4, 0. And the gradient is what? 3. So I think this is the same question when the coordinates are given, but just on, on x-axis, the y is 0. On y-axis, the x is 0. So y minus 0 is equals to uh, gradient is 3x minus 4. And when you assemble, your answer will be coming 3x minus 12. And that's we have done it. Normally, this equation y equals to mx plus c is also used when uh, we have something only the y-intercept find the step and the gradient. We can use it. There is no like there is no limitation to use only this equation. But in admins, we normally use this equation. Okay. Moving to the next part. This is question number three. In question number three, find the equation of the line passing through the four, like points are given. If I just consider part A, what we need first, we need gradient. So M is equals to Y2 minus Y1 means 4 minus 5 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x2 2 minus 1. When we simplify this, it's coming 4 minus 5 is minus 1 divided by 1 and it's coming minus 1. So the gradient is minus 1. Like I told you, when you want to use this equation, y minus y1 is equals to x m x minus x1 means we have to use any one of the coordinates. It is up to you to use 1, 5 or 2, 4. So y minus, I'm using uh, 1, 5. So y minus 5 is equals to gradient is minus 1, x, and y1 or x1 is 1. So when we assemble the equation, this is coming minus x and minus 1 is plus 1. We can make x or so y the subject. So 5 in right hand side is plus 4. So minus x. So 5 plus like 5 will become plus 6 and that's we have done it. So this is the way you can do all the other parts of the questions. Okay, question number four, write down the equation of the straight line, like the gradient is minus three and the y-intercept c is two. So I think so we don't need to use that equation y minus y1 is equals to mx minus x1. You can use this equation directly y equals to mx plus c because all informations are given. m is three minus three and c is 2 and that's you have done it there is no problem you can write it okay moving to uh, question number uh, this part is very interesting like uh, uh, when i uh, solve this question uh, like a sketching of a straight line this is here is sketching like uh, hence sketch the curve uh, 
I will. I have also make uh, made one more video about this, how we can draw a straight line uh, without uh, long method. Okay. What is the target? The step number one, your equation should be y equals to mx plus c like this. Y is equals to mx plus c. This is already y equals to mx plus c. But one thing, when you draw the graph, like I want to also make this b as y equals to mx plus c. How can you make? You make y as a subject. Two will divide in right hand side. Y is equals to 3x plus 6 divided by 2 and y equals to 3 upon 2x plus 6 upon 2 is 3. What we require? Find where the following lines get the x-axis and y-axis. Okay, for that purpose, for that purpose, I was actually, actually talking about the sketch. Okay, the sketch, uh, I have to make y the subject, so 3y and right hand side, so 4x minus 12 is equals to 3y. And y equals to, I'm writing in like in short, direct. Okay, this is the equation of part C. This is the equation of part B. Okay, sorry, we're doing the first part like x axis and uh, y axis. On x axis, y is 0. So I'm solving here. On x axis, y is 0. Substitute y is 0. When you substitute y is 0, 0 equals to 2x minus 4. And x is equals to 4 upon 2 is 2. So, coordinates are 2, comma 0. So that's the value of on x axis. If you want to like find the value on y axis, x equals to 0. Here, y axis. This is the same value when you substitute x equals to 0 in the same equation. The y is coming minus 4. So, coordinates are 0 and minus 4. This is the way you can uh, get the answer of all x axis and y axis. But the sketch purpose, I would like to use like. Uh, one method here, maybe that will definitely help you. The method is very simple. The method I would like to use in all three equations. <coughs> okay, what's the method? Method is what like a sketching means we have to just draw a rough, like not the exact on the graph paper. This is what is the gradient here of the, the two. The gradient is two upon one. Two rise one run and the y-intercept is minus 4 c is minus 4 so what i will write uh, c is minus 4 here okay if i work like this 1 2 3 and this is minus 4 okay and now what i have to do you have to do like you have to stand at y minus 4 here okay this is what uh, okay i want to make also here, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Okay, there's no problem. Okay, now what I have to do, just look at me. This minus 4 here, 2 right and 1 right. From this minus 4, you have to move 2 up and 1 right. 1 here, here from here. 1, 2, 2 right and 1 run. This is a coordinate. And when you join, this is straight line. Very simple method. You want to uh, see here, like, what is the gradient here? Gradient is 3 upon 2 and C is 3. So what we need? We need like 1, 2, 3. We need 3 and 4, 5 till 6 because I have to move 3 steps up and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just a sketch. Now, how I will work here? Listen. Uh, from the, from C, like from 3, I have to move rise upon run 3 up to right from here 3 up like here 1 2 3 up and 2 right 1 2 here when you join this is a straight line there is no problem to draw a straight line by using the uh, equation y equals to mx plus c from here uh, minus 4 so I can suppose uh, 1 2 3 and this is minus 4 see and I have to move 4 up and 3 right so from this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what I have to do? From minus 4, from minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3, right? 1, 2, 3, this is the coordinate, and I can join and get a straight line. Like when we have gradient negative 4 upon 3, what we can do? We can move 4 up and 3 left because of this negative sign. So this is a way we can do it. So now, uh, I have done this. Moving to next part, question number six. In question number six, the line joining this and this, this is one of the important questions because it's a Cambridge or it was in the Cambridge paper. 
the line joining this and this meets p and q axis means axis means x and y axis both find the equation of ab for equation of ab what do you need you need the gradient like 15 minus 3 divided by 5 plus 1 then it's coming 12 upon 6 is coming to and then we need what we we don't need anything we just need one coordinate y minus y1 y1 equation m x minus x1 okay any one of the coordinate you can suppose this we can suppose 3 m is 2 x is y minus 1 means it will become plus 1 so final equation will be y minus 3 is equals to 2x plus 2 and y is equals to 2x plus this 3 plus and this coming 5. So equation we have done the equation of AB is ready. There is no problem. Now what they required like this line, this equation meets the axis at P and Q. It means when you like this equation, what is happening here? That's this equation when I draw this equation like this, when I draw this line. I think this is very simple to do. Uh, P and Q, like this point is P anywhere. This is P and this is Q. What are the coordinates of Q? Q are 0, comma Y. Or you can suppose 0, comma B. And you can suppose here A, comma 0. So this equation, this Y plus 2, 2X two plus 5. Now, when you substitute Y0, you can get X. Like if you can solve here, uh, Y0 means X is coming. Uh, minus 5 upon 2 comma 0 and this is coming when you substitute x 0 the y is coming 5 now you can find that is you can distance formula like p and q uh, x 2 minus even some right y is up to you y 2 minus y 1 whole square or x 2 minus x 1 is there is no problem to write y first or x first this is whole square and you can use a distance formula moving to the next part uh, question number seven in question number seven find in terms of t the equation of the line this uh, t zero with gradient t like uh, what you have to y minus y one is zero is equals to gradient is t and x minus t and we can just put the value uh, tx and minus t squared uh, the find the value of r t for which the line passes through this now what we need we just need to put the value x uh, 6 y is 6 and x is 5 and you can substitute and use a quadratic formula like or this is uh, left hand side you may can make the factors you can have two values of t there is no problem okay make the factorization or quadratic formula question number 8 find the equation to line this passes with the point this a line passes through the point this find the uh, i mean this is the same type same type of question you can please see because i want to make short videos uh, and this type of question we have very good questions in examination very lengthy so we will also work on the examination papers caie if the line through this and a gradient this also passes through the point this like this is the way like what you have to do you have to make one equation first y minus t is equal to gradient is one upon two x minus two is plus two when you have one equation one equation the y is equals to half x and plus four this is the equation like this is passing through 3k means this line is passing through 3k means you have to substitute x is 3 and y is k this is only the way just can you find the value of k there is no problem yes so now this part i was checking about like uh, this question number 10 the line of the gradient 3 passes through this meets the x x is at b like the same thing what we need we need the equation first equation 3 gradient x minus 1 is plus 1 equation is very important to make first even i think that they required to form they find the equation of ab okay we are finding the equation of ab ym is equals to 3x and plus 9 this is the equation of ab we have done it and the equation of ac okay x axis uh, like this line is cutting the b x axis means uh, the y is 0 so you can write a comma 0 so by this you can find the coordinates of b this is 0 this is x plus 9 so x is equals to minus 9 upon 3 means this is 3 
So this minus three are the coordinates of what? B. Another line uh, through A meets x axis at 0 to 0. Now what you have to find like the another line through A. Like if a line is passing through A, like you can see A is this and other line is passing through C. So C is 2, 0. So it means what you need, we need the equation of this line first, equation of AC. So equation of AC means what you need, we need the gradient first. We cannot use C as a gradient. Remember, a line gradient 3 passes through the A and meets x axis. So we can use only this line, this equation for till B. But when you're talking about another line, uh, A, uh, another line through A, through A, okay, and uh, meets the x axis at uh, C, okay. So in this part, then on x axis, you can just find a gradient first. What is gradient? Gradient is coming 0 minus 6 divided by 2 minus 1 is plus 1 is coming. Uh, minus 6 upon 3 is minus 2. Okay, the gradient is minus 2. Now, what we need? We need y minus, I can use this coordinate uh, to form the equation, y minus 0 is equals to minus 2x minus 2, y is equals to minus 2x minus minus is plus 4. This is the equation of AC. Okay, now we have both the equation, equation of AB also here and equation of AC. Calculate the area of the triangle ABC. This is like uh, when I draw, I would like to use this here. Okay. I want to use the shape here. We have how many coordinates? Uh, C is 2, 0 here. This is C is on X axis and B is also on X axis and B coordinates. What are the coordinates of B? The coordinates we are minus 3, 0. Okay, minus 3, 0. Minus 3, 0 is something like here. Okay, this is B. Okay, now uh, this is B, this is C, and what is left? Left uh, A is left. Minus one and six. Minus one and six is something like this. Here. I'm writing here. Uh, okay. When I join this, the triangle. Okay. What's the base of the triangle? Base means like here was a base. Base from minus three. Like minus three means one, two, three, and two means one, two. So what is the total base here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The base is 5. You can use the distance formula. There is no problem. You can use. Okay. And the height means from the base, what is the uh, maximum distance from base to the third, third vertex? This is 6. You can see. So half into base into height is the area formula. I'm using this formula and we also use one more formula to find uh, the area. I'm showing you. Uh, height half base is 5 and height is 6 and then you can use 3 with 2 and 15 is the answer okay but actually i have also made one more video when you want to find the area of the triangle you can use x1 by 1 x2 by 2 x3 by 3 and again x1 y1 this is a this is b this is c and this is a this is just i uh, use this method just maybe this will help you but you can use this formula. So uh, we have done uh, exercise 7.4 from question number 1 to 10. So I try my best to explain each and every question of exercise 7.4. If you think this video is useful for you, please like my video, subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.